Hi, I'm Tankfish, and I'm a diagnosed psychopath. Today I'll be playing Theme Park Tycoon 2 in Roblox, where I'll be attempting to make the biggest abomination of a theme park that I possibly can. Of course, it will involve mental torments, inflicting physical pain upon innocent victims, public ex- public ex-, ex Fuck. Capital punishment in uh, public and a hell lot of fireworks. You know, the fun stuff. And no, this is this is not mine. This is some random guy's park. Did you really think that I would build a park where people can enjoy themselves? No. Alright, so this is uh, my park. As you can see, it's uh, empty, just like my in real life bank account. But soon it will be filled with laughter and screams. Me being the one laughing and my guests being the one screaming out of pain and terror. And as you can see, I got a small loan of $4 million from my dad, China, which is more than enough to commit systematic mass genocide and lay eternal torment upon my unsuspecting. So anyways, let's start by naming our theme park. Hell. Oh, and as you can see in the distance, that's a pit. It's called the Pit of Hell. Hey, I figured out that you could make basements, so I got a little bit too excited. Doesn't big, dark, underground space excite you too? Yeah, I, I, I dug the whole place out. When I found out that you could modify a larger grid by pressing no. R, oh, oh, I want full trench warfare on this mother and now he became the Mariana Trench. Oh, and also this person fell in my pit while I was digging. He must be very blind to not see this f***ing crater. So I thought he was not gonna get out anytime soon. Then Thanos snapped him. Uh, so I built this underground miniature park where I'll be trapping people in for eternity. But, um, due to some design problems, it is not completely sealed off. But hey, we can make it better. Jump in no balls. Bruh. <laughs> he actually did. I would totally not panic if I ever find myself in a place like this. Get me out of here! Now let's patch the whole place up because I hate myself and add a roller coaster where we can finally murder people in broad daylight. Just what we're all here for. <laughs> It blew up here. I think the curve is, uh, too uh, curvy. Mm. <laughs> Let's just make it straight. Great, now I sound like a f***ing homophobe. Yeah, perfect. I don't know why I'm trying to make this work. Because people writing this will die regardless. Now let me test it out and kill myself. Uh... But wait. What if? Oh, ho, 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 you know where I'm going with this. A collision of two coasters going at Mach 10. It's going to be great. Let's just sink them real quick and name them. You will die. Hey, don't tell me I didn't warn these suckers. They do have eyes, you know. Are you sure about that? I am simply providing a more exciting way for people to end their life. And I am making money out of it. Hooray, capitalism. Now I just have to place the entrance and the exit. <laughs> As if they'll ever need it. I am simply giving them a fall. Sense of hope. And boom, firework. Dead corpses and debris flying around, just how I like my fireworks to be. Okay, so I built this unnecessarily long walkway to make my guests' life more horrible. And I use these signs to prevent them from leaving. They're mentally incapable, so escape is impossible. Oh sh that rhymes! Why do I only have five guests? Look at all those stalls! We've got burgers, fries, ice creams, everything that gives you diabetes and makes you morbidly obese. Well, we do have fresh fruit stalls, but I mean, who the f buys fresh fruits in the theme park? Of course, just having my guests trapped here for eternity is not good enough. So I build these roller coasters on the side. I call these where dreams are made. And they will rain down fresh dead bodies and debris constantly on my then terrorized victims. Cause that is my dream. But too bad my dream won't be realized. For now. Because where dreams are made needs ammunitions, aka human beings, to function properly. Because I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be disappointed if there's no corpses flying around in a roller coaster accident I've witnessed. And guess what? There's no, no one coming. No one's coming to my park. Why? Don't you see the these exciting roller coasters, healthy food stalls, and this underground park that no one can see? Oh. Okay, change of plan, boys. We at least have to have some guests in our park in order to torture them. So we'll have to add some ugh, fun rides. Disgusting. It's quite sad that some people are actually enjoying this place. Well, at least there's still the constant rain of debris and dead bodies. All right, now that we have baited all these guests with these fun rides, ugh, we gon' f them up. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yes. Things have changed, children. I can't believe I wasted 10 hours of my life doing this. <laughs> I need a real job. So halfway through the construction, I realized hell doesn't have grass. That sh is not metal enough. So I killed all the grass and replaced it with fire, black rock, and poop color grass. I don't know what it is. So yeah, my park is a total hellscape now. Look, it even has the word die engraved on the ground. Not to mention this warning sign for anyone who dares to enter. I think it sums up my park pretty well. And of course, we have a couple of new rides. Oh yeah. Here we have anime dinosaur girl with pink hair, aka Zero Two. You might be asking, why not just call it Zero Two? To which I respond, f***ing Roblox censored it, of course. What am I, retarded? Yes, I am, but why did I name it anime dinosaur girl with pink hair? Well, uh, this. I know, it's hilarious. So what this ride essentially does is uh, send people in a literal dumpster fire, which actually sums up Darling the Franks pretty well. And look, I even made the dumpster transparent so people can observe these nerds crashing to their death and burning to crisp while screaming in agony. Hey, what's cooking, Bowen? Shut the f up. Oh, and this. I'll come back to this later. And as you can see, I made some slight modification to some where dreams are made. These are called orbital annihilation. They're basically where dreams are made, but instead of launching dead bodies and debris on my park, they launch them over to the other parks. I am a generous man. I share my joys. What do you think, Lana? I think you're great. Anyways, let's go back to hell. Further in the back, we have Kobe, which is uh, exactly what it f***ing is. An altar for Lord Kobe who passed away. Here we sacrifice innocent souls to Kobe by launching them at Mach 10 to this hoop. Here, I'll show you. Come here, Soren. I know you want to ride Kobe. Oh god, that came out wrong. And off we go. Kobe will be pleased. After launching me to the fourth dimension. Now here we have the Eternal Journey. It's basically vintage cars that have been set to move at the slowest speed and uh, have to go through I mean, hey, at least they have some trees and rocks to stare at for 50 years. Oh, they can also stare at these people locked in my basement, and uh, these people locked in my basement can stare them back. Since they're both trapped, it's kind of like them staring at themselves, you know? Kind of poetic. And of course, there's no food, no water, no toilet. And they'll be fine. Ah, uh, you go have some fun in there, Caleb. See you in 50 years, when you're all grown up. And finally, we have the limbo. Ah, the good old limbo. Now, the reason why I built this is, uh, uh, when I tried to expand to the underground, I realized there's a maximum amount of rides that you can build in this game, which made me cry for a couple of days, since I didn't want to waste this dark underground space. Mm -hmm -hmm. I just literally filled it with pathways. Then I got addicted at building pathways. So I built another layer of pathways. And now it takes forever for these dumb f to get out of here, which makes them unhappy, which makes me happy. There is no light, and I made sure that there's no toilet to be found. Though I did feel a bit generous and added a food and drink stall in the middle. But here's the catch. It's overpriced. <laughs> Capitalism. I don't think anyone has gotten out yet. In the beginning, I placed signs to guide them, but then I got lazy, and now there are people walking in circles. Oh, and uh, there was a ride here called Cement Factory, but uh, I almost got banned because of it, so too bad we can't kill people by launching them out of a male genital. Funny thing is that my park has five stars. Do you know why? Because my guests have to leave the park in order to give reviews. Which, you know, they're not allowed to leave in the first place. And those who had a terrible time, well, they, they probably will never leave the park. Bruh. Before I end this video, I must announce something. First, I'm about to hit 50k, which is good. Sorry, I sound a little bit dead inside. I've been working on this video for the past three days. Jesus Christ, I don't even feel my legs anymore. You know that feeling when you sit too much? Because I've been sitting here for three whole days, except when I'm sleeping or, or eating. Actually, I'm sitting when I'm eating. I'm even sitting when I'm sh Jesus Christ, my ass hurts, help me. Anyways, I've gone a little bit off topic. I'm going to do a 50k special, and I will start a poll on my community soon to ask you what type of special contents you want. Whether it's Q&A or a compilation of all the best moments, or Q&A because that's what everybody does. Anyway, thank you very much for almost 50k, it's very cool. It's the only thing that suppressed my desire to kill myself. And if you haven't joined my Discord yet, join it. It's 
cool. Actually, never mind. It's a f fest. I would personally burn it myself. Link in the description. Oh, and one more very, very important thing. Never mind. The video is 10 minutes long now. I'm gonna get the f out of here. Stay home, stay safe, and flatten the curve. Unless you live in America, then go out and protest with other people.